Hello YouTube friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Thank you for joining me for another practice today. Just before we begin, I just wanted to let you know that it's currently Tuesday when I'm filming this and this time next Tuesday, so on Halloween, I will be currently on my way to Gatwick Airport to get the plane to India. I'm going to India for the month of November to teach on a yoga teacher training course. So um, I just wanted to let you know that my uploads I am planning on doing will continue hopefully, hopefully, hopefully to stay as normal. I'm going to aim to upload every Wednesday and Saturday and Sunday as normal. However, Indian Wi-Fi, Indian electricity, Indian internet isn't always the most reliable. Um, so if I kind of get there and I'm either really busy or the internet's not great, then of course the uploads might not be as regularly as I would hope them to be. So I just wanted to let you know that, um, that you know, if in case I suddenly stop uploading for a couple of weeks or whatever, but fingers crossed it won't come to that. Um, so if you want to keep up to date with my journey and all my teaching and everything else in between, do head over onto my Instagram account, Laura Louise Yoga. I also share lots of sequencing ideas, inspiration, creative flows and everything in between over there. So if you don't follow me there already, do go and follow me on um, Instagram. With that all being said, enough rambling, let's jump into today's practice. We have a short and sweet practice today, so let's come to the top of the mat and start in Mountain Pose Tadasana. So just standing in Mountain Pose, top of the mat, feet together or feet apart, palms face forwards. Let's grow nice and tall through the spine and just for a moment close the eyes. And we'll just start today by taking a full breath into the belly. And then open the mouth, exhale, let it go. One more time like that, full breath in through the nose. Open the mouth, exhale, let it go. Seal the lips and just begin to connect with your breath. Begin to really draw the breath in through the nose, into the belly. Begin to create a rhythm to your breath that is going to flow with you, move you through your practice, your sequence. A breath that feels steady and focused and calm and energizing. And as always, we'll just take this breath with us as we begin to move into our physical practice today. So when you're ready, just allow your eyes to flicker open. Bring your palms together into heart center prayer position. On an inhale, raise your prayer to the sky. Urdhva an upward salute, look to the thumbs. And as you exhale, bend the knees as you fold forwards and down, hands down, head in. Inhale, slide your hands to your shins as you lengthen your spine. And then exhale, place the hands down, step to an upper push-up plank pose. Establish your plank pose as you spread your fingers, press into the fingertips as well as the knuckles, and find a little tuck of the tailbone. And remember, you can always drop the knees here. Take a deep breath in at the top of your high plank. And then exhale, drop your knees, bend your elbows as you slowly lower all the way down to the belly. Once you're there, as you breathe in, lift the chin and the chest, but keep the hands light on the floor. And as you exhale, lift your legs and your thighs, coming into this variation of Shalabhasana Locust. Once you're there, think about lifting everything up apart from the hips, engaging the upper back as you draw the elbows slightly together. Take another inhale in this pose. And then exhale, slowly release everything back down. Good, now a few more times with your breath. As you breathe in, lift everything up. Engage the bum, engage the hamstrings. 
and then exhale, slowly release back down. Again, inhale, squeeze as you lift everything up. And then exhale, slowly release. One more time, inhale, lift everything up. Keep lifted this time, extends the arms behind you, full Shalabhasana Locust Pose. Really just beginning to fire up the back body, strengthen, engage all the muscles. Take one more inhale, one more lift. And then exhale, bring your hands back underneath the shoulders as you release the body down. This time, inhale, press into the hands, find cobra. Elbows slightly bent, chest lifts. And then exhale, press to your knees, tuck your toes. Bring your bum to your heels into this active child's pose. And just for a moment, press the chest down. Feel the stretch through the armpits, the shoulders. Taking a full breath in. And a big sigh, let it go. On your inhale, look forwards. And as you exhale, rise forwards, come into your tabletop position. On an inhale, drop your belly, lift the chin, find your cow pose. And then exhale, lift your hips up and back, come into downward facing dog. And same as always there, have a little wiggle. Always feels good just to kind of move around in your first down dog. So bicycle the legs or shake the hips. And then eventually just finding a moment of stillness, relaxing the ankles, spreading the fingers, pressing through each and every fingertip. Let's take an inhale, raise the right leg high to the sky. And as you exhale, step your right foot forwards between the hands. Turn the back heel flat, bend into the right knee. As you inhale, let's find warrior one. Bend into the right knee as you lift up through the fingertips. Little drawing back of that right hip. Take another inhale, warrior one. And as you exhale, straighten your front leg. Begin to fold forwards and down, hands to the floor blocks or maybe to the shins. Let the chin draw towards the shin as you just fold over that right leg. Taking a full breath in. And a full breath out. Again, inhale. And exhale. Lovely. On an inhale, look forwards. Press into the feet. Circle your arms all the way up to the sky. And then as you exhale, bend the elbows as you bend the right knee. Coming into this cactus variation of warrior one. Instead of thinking about the elbows drawing down, think about keeping the shoulders and the elbows in line and then drawing the elbows backwards to strengthen through the upper back. Keep bending into that right knee. And then as you inhale, send your arms up to the sky. Maybe watch your palms touch. And then exhale, hands down. Step back to your high plank. Knees up or down, lower slowly down to the belly. Inhale for cobra, engage the lower body, lift up through the chest. And then exhale, tuck your toes, downward dog, lift your hips up and back. On your next inhale, sweep the left leg high to the sky. Exhale, left foot steps forwards, back heel drops. Inhale, warrior one, follow the breath all the way up. And then exhale, just bend into that left knee. Notice how the lower back feels. If it feels super crunched, maybe you find a little tuck of the tailbone. And this might also give you a deeper stretch through the right hip flexor. Take one more inhale here, stretch and reach the arms. And then exhale, straighten the left leg. Begin to fold forwards and down, fingers to floor, chin towards the shin. Let the head and neck soften. Take a full in-breath. And out-breath. Again, inhale. 
and exhale. Beautiful. Inhale, look forwards, press into the feet, reach the arms all the way up. And then simultaneously exhale, bend the knee as you bend the elbows, Cactus Warrior One. Squeeze the upper back together, lift the chin, maybe the gaze. And then inhale, reach your arms up, full warrior one, maybe watch the palms touch. And then exhale, hands down, step back to high plank, either to the belly or halfway chaturanga. Inhaling to upward facing dog or cobra. And then exhale, lift your hips up and back, downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in. And a slow breath out. Lovely. Let's begin to flow with this. So as you inhale, sweep your right leg high to the sky. Exhale, right foot steps forwards, back heel drops. Inhale, warrior one, reach your arms all the way up. Exhale, straighten the front leg, forward fold, extended pyramid, let the chin draw to the shin. Inhale, circle the arms back up to the sky, reaching strong. And then exhale, bend the elbows as you bend the knee, Cactus Warrior One. Keep the right knee bent, inhale, arms reach up, maybe arch back slightly. And then exhale, hands down, step back to plank, lower through your variation of chaturanga. Inhaling, upward facing dog or cobra. Exhaling, downward facing dog. Inhale, the left leg sweeps up and back behind you. Exhale, left foot forwards, back heel drops. Inhale, warrior one, press down through the big toes, reach and stretch. Exhale, straighten the left leg, forward fold, fingers down, chin towards the shin. Inhale, circle the arms back up to the sky. Exhale, bend the knee, bend the elbows, cactus warrior one. Inhale, reach your arms up, maybe watch the palms touch. Exhale, hands down, step back to plank, lower slowly with control. Inhaling, cobra or upward facing dog. Exhaling, downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in. And a big sigh, exhale, let it go. Inhale, lift your heels, look forwards. Exhale, walk, step, or if you're ready, hop to the front of the mat. Inhale to halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, circle the arms to standing, tailbone lengthens, palms might press. And then exhale, bring your hands to your heart to darsana your mountain pose. Just take a deep cleansing breath in. And a big sigh, exhale, let it go. Inhale, raise your prayer, Urdhva Hastasana. Exhale, forward fold, follow the breath down. Inhale to halfway lift. Exhale, hands down, step back to high plank position. Spread the fingers wide. From high plank, begin to bring your big toes together. Begin to pivot onto the little toe edge of the right foot. And then inhale the left arm to the sky. Vashi starts on your side plank. You can modify this at any point by taking that left foot onto the floor, maybe drop the right knee. But wherever you are, lift the hips and press through the right hand. Take another inhale inside plank. And then exhale, look down, left hand comes down, come back to high plank. From there, go ahead and drop your left knee to the floor. Left knee is underneath the hip. 
Inhale, send the right leg up to the sky. And then exhale, send your left arm forwards coming into your balancing tabletop. Think here about engaging through the core, lightly drawing the rib cage in, and then lifting the left thumb and the right heel up to the sky. Take a deep inhale here, stretch and reach. Exhale, bring your elbow to your knee, your knee to your elbow, crunch into a little ball. Inhale, extend, extend and reach. Just one more time, exhale, elbow to knee, crunch it in. This time, inhale, extend and reach. And as you exhale, begin to bend your right knee, bring the heel towards the bum, send the left hand back, see if you can find your foot or your ankle. If you've got the foot, inhale, kick the foot into the hands, tiger pose. Maybe look forward, try to lift the chin, lift the chest, really pressing into that right hand. Nice, strong through the whole body, take an inhale. And an exhale, you've got it guys. Take one more inhale, one more lift. And then exhale, slowly release the left hand, right knee down to the floor. Beautiful, set up your hands again, spread your fingers wide. Inhale, step back to high plank. And then exhale, slowly lower all the way down to the belly. From there, begin to bend your left knee, bring the heel towards the bum. And then once you're there, begin to take your left hand and see if you can hold the foot, the left foot, so the little toe edge or just the front of the foot or the ankle. Begin to draw the heel towards the bum and then think about the hip points pressing down towards the floor. You might feel the left kneecap lift slightly until you feel a stretch through the left quad muscle. Once you're there, extend your right arm forwards. And then as you inhale, lift your right leg, your left thigh, lift your right arm and lift into this variation of Shalabhasana or Archer's Pose or Laying Down Reclined Dancer. Just lift everything up, kick the foot into the hand, hand into the foot. Most important thing is that you're not holding your breath. Take a deep inhale, lift and open. And then exhale, slowly release. Release the left foot, left arm reaches forwards, right arm reaches back. Bend the right knee, grab the foot or the ankle. And again, just find that quad stretch, press the hip points down. And then when you're ready, inhale, kick the foot into the hands, lift everything up. Squeeze the glutes, squeeze the hamstring, really strengthening through the whole back body. Breath in. Slow breath out, nearly there, you've got it. Take one more inhale, lift, lift, lift. And then exhale, slowly release. Bring both hands underneath the shoulders, give the hips a little bit of a wiggle. And then bring your feet together. Inhale, cobra or upward facing dog. And then exhale, lift your hips back, downward facing dog. Take a full breath in. And a big ah, let it go. <sighs> Inhale, lift heels, look forwards. Exhale, walk, step or hop to the front of the mat. Inhale to halfway lift. Exhale to forward fold. Inhale, circle the arms to standing, reaching up. And then exhale, bring your hands to your heart and just steady your balance, steady your breath. From here, just take your feet about hip distance apart. Begin to shift the weight into your right foot. And then bend your left knee to bring your left heel towards the bum. Take the hand and hold, this time the inside edge of the foot if you can, so the big toe edge of the foot. Press your hip points forwards, forwards, forwards until again you feel that stretch through the quad muscle. On an inhale, send your right arm to the sky. 
and then stay there or as you exhale kick the foot into the hand hand into the foot lean expand and open into your dancer's pose really opening and lifting through the front body breath in and a breath out you've got it guys take one more inhale and then exhale warrior two so slowly release the left leg bend the right knee and step the left foot slowly all the way to the back of the room once you're there adjust your position come into that warrior two press through the big toes take a full breath in and a full breath out nice on your inhale reverse your warrior full side stretch and then exhale cart all the hands down step back to high plank either down dog or slowly through your vinyasa inhaling to upward facing dog or cobra and then exhaling into your downward facing dog Take a deep breath in and a slow breath out. On an inhale, wave your body forwards, find high plank. Again, set up your hands, spread your fingers wide, bring your big toes together. And then this time, shift your weight into the little toe edge of the left foot. Inhale the right arm to the sky, Vashi Stasana, your variation of side plank. Press through that left hand, maybe challenge your balance by gazing up towards that right thumb. Holding here for five, four, three, two. Take a full inhale and then exhale, right hand down, come to high plank position. This time, go ahead and lower your right knee to the floor, right knee underneath the hip. Inhale, the left leg lifts. And then exhale, the right arm reaches forward into that balancing tabletop. Lift your right thumb, find that little tuck of the tailbone, engage through the belly. Take an inhale as you extend, extend, extend. And then exhale, bring your elbow to your knee, your knee to your elbow, crunch into that little ball. Inhale, extend, 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 extend. Exhale, elbow to knee, crunch and squeeze. One more time, inhale to extend. And then this time, exhale, bend your left knee. Reach the right hand back, see if you can find your foot. And then inhale, tiger pose, kick the foot into the hand, open up across the whole front body, strengthen across the back body. Maybe try to look forward slightly, opening across the chest. You've got it. Take one more inhale, kick and lift. And then with control, exhale, slowly release back to your tabletop position. On an inhale, step back into high plank. And then exhale, slow lower all the way down to the belly. This time, take the feet a little bit wider than the hips. Bend the knees, bring the heels towards the bum. And then this time, grab both feet with both hands. Right hand, right ankle, left hand, left ankle. Same as before, press the hip points down. You might feel the knees lift slightly. And then as you inhale, lift the chin and the chest. And as you exhale, kick the feet away. Lift up into your bow pose. Squeezing through the glutes, maybe flexing through the ankles. Breathing in. Hardest part here is to breathe. So just try to breathe as steadily as you can. You've got it. Let's take one more inhale, one more lift. Lovely. Exhale, release, let it go. Hands under the shoulders. And again, give the hips a little bit of a wiggle. Really, really nice. And then bring your feet together. Inhale, cobra or upward facing dog. And then exhale, hips up and back, downward facing dog. 
Take a deep breath in. And a big sigh, let it go. Inhale, lift heels, look forwards. Exhale, step or hop to the front of the mat. Inhale to halfway lift. Exhale to forward fold. Inhale, circle the arms up to standing. Exhale, bring your hands to your heart to Dasana Mountain Pose. Take the feet about hip distance apart. Find your drishti, your gaze point for your eyes. And then shift the weight into the left foot. Bring the right heel towards the bum. Reach around, hold the right foot. And then again, think about finding the quad stretch. So draw the hip points forwards, just as you did when you were on your belly. As you inhale, left arm lifts up. Option to stay. Otherwise, exhale, begin to hinge slightly forwards. Kick the foot away from you. Lift the left thumb and try to open and expand here. Breathing in. Breathing out. Inhale and exhale. Amazing. From here, slow transition, guys. Warrior two. Release the right foot. Bend the left knee to slowly step the right foot back. Once you're there, adjust your feet. Nice big bend into that left knee. Draw it forwards. Take a deep inhale and exhale. And then inhale, reverse your warrior. Feel and enjoy that side body stretch. And then exhale, cartwheel the hands down. Either down dog or plank pose. And then lower chaturanga. Inhaling to your back bend. And then exhaling, downward facing dog. Really nice. Take a deep breath in. Exhale through the mouth. <sighs> Inhale, look forwards. Exhale, drop down onto your knees. Keep your toes tucked. Walk the hands towards your knees and then just roll up into this kneeling position. Think about lengthening the tailbone slightly down. Look over your left shoulder, left hand to left ankle or heel. And then inhale, the right arm reaches up to the sky. Keep drawing the hips forwards. Maybe you rotate the chest open, looking up towards the sky. Beautiful. And then bring that right hand onto your hip. Engage your glutes, engage your belly to lift all the way back up, both hands to the hip. Look over your right shoulder, right hand, right ankle. And then same, same, left arm lifts up and open. Stay there or begin to rotate the chest, maybe looking up. Hips drawing forwards. Full inhale. And then exhale, left hand to hip, chin to chest. Engage your belly to bring yourself up. And then untuck the toes, bring your bum to your heels. Let yourself release, hands onto the thighs. And just close the eyes for a moment and just feel that. Maybe you enjoyed it, maybe it was a struggle, maybe it was frustrating. Just feel, witness, observe. And just begin to slow the breath. And then slowly just let the eyes flicker open. Release your arms either side of your hips. And then as you breathe in, circle your arms up to the sky. Interlace the fingers, turn the palms up. And then just take a side bend over to the left as you draw the hips to the right. Beautiful. Inhale, bring it back to center. And then exhale, side bends to the right as your hips draw to the left. 
perfect and then inhale bring it back to center just puff out through the chest and then exhale release your arms onto your lap grow tall through the spine draw your chin to your chest close the eyes take a full breath in and just open the mouth let it go And just leave your mat, taking with you this energy and strength and courage and focus. Take it with you through your day, through your week and in the areas that you need it the most. Thank you so much for showing up and joining me on the mat today. I really hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, please don't forget to like Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. It really does help me get more videos um, out to you as possible. But thanks for your support and I will see you on Saturday for a brand new video.